Good morning, everyone. I hope Monday's finding you healthy and happy. Today we're going to use our Peaceful Poppy Suite. Um, it is on page 25 of your mini catalog. And um, we're going to use a big chunk of it. We're just not going to use the ribbon or the paper today. And as you can see, the Peaceful Moments bundle comes with all these little dies and the Painted Poppies bundle comes with all these little dies. We're going to use a, a little bit of both. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you what comes in the the Poppies, uh, Peaceful Poppies Elements. Um, it's $6.50 and you get two sheets of vellum stamped um, punch outs. And then you get two sheets of um, watercolor paper and that is stamped and um, embossed on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then you get um, two sheets of die cuts and you get two sheets of borders and tags. So it's a pretty good bundle. For today's purpose, we're going to use, um, I've already used a couple because I've had a couple of mishaps this morning. Um, we're going to use this. Now, if you don't have this pleat, you, you're always, you could do this with um, regular watercolor paper, and I'll show you one of those in just a minute. So I'm going to get my yucky piece of paper over here. Now something else that we're going to use today is our pigment sprinkles. Now mine are an older version, but they, they're still the same thing. Um, they're in your, in your annual catalog. So I'm going to sprinkle a couple of different colors. Um, and what I did when I got mine was I punched a hole in the top and so it sort of works like a salt and pepper shaker because, and I've got one here that I didn't do it the first time. And I'll show you why. So if you take and open this and look at it, see all that little fine powder? There's no way you can sprinkle that on and not get it too heavy. So it's just easier to punch holes in the in the lids. And then it, it goes on. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll bring it up, see if you can see how it just barely sprinkles on there. And covers it. Can you see it? So it doesn't look like there's much of anything on there. But once I missed it with water, look what happens. You can put as much water in or as little water as you want on there. Now if you decide you want some more color, you can always come back in and add more and it'll just add, add to it. Maybe some more yellow. And you set it aside and let it dry. And that's all there is to that. Now, if you wanted to do the same thing, as you can see here, or maybe you can't see it, I have stamped with a stamp and embossed it in white on just regular watercolor paper. So the same, the same thing works there. I just, um, I find this works the best. Sprinkle some paper or some colors on there. I'm about to leak through on my, my good piece of paper here. <clears throat> I've had to start over a couple of times today with the phone ringing and the dog barking and just stuff. So anyways, um, you can get the same thing if, by using watercolor paper and stamped and embossed. Now after this dries, I'll go in with my dye and cut that out. But I just wanted you to see that you can still do that if you don't have the, <coughs> the embellishments. Um, so today we're going to use um, this specific dye right here and to me it just looks like a lot of little scribbles but um, but it's going to come out and 
um, make a cutout in your paper. It doesn't actually cut it out so that it's separate like these do, but it makes um, the Im imprint in your in your paper. And we're going to use black and white today. I was going to do a complete black and white, but then I decided I needed a little color, so that's when I decided to to use our sprinkles. And I've already stamped this, but you can see how pretty it looks on the black. And it just makes a cut a cut out. Now if you wanted to, and maybe I'll do this at a later time, cut this in several different colors, then you could paper piece it together and put your colors in there and then that would look beautiful too. So, but for our purpose today, this is what our card's going to be. So I I stamped or I used my sprinkles and and these are some of the di the punch outs that I, I used. So you can see how it turns out after it dries. So we're gonna just add those to our card like this. I've got several here. And then um, you know we have I need a puppy that has something on it. That would be nice. Oh, the other thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to use um, some glue dots out of my paper pumpkin because I want to show you. Um, I want to show you a trick with that. Now these these puppies are are dimensionals aren't working because I had them on and had to take them off when the phone ring and had I had to redo everything. So so I like that. I think that's looking very nice. I don't know what you think. So the other thing that I'm going to do is these glue dots come with your paper pumpkin because when you subscribe to a paper pumpkin you get everything that you need to make for that month's pro projects. So if you're doing cards, they usually send you 10 cards. You get 10 envelopes, you get 10, well you usually get more embellishments than you need, you get a whole sheet of glue dots, you usually get a packet like this of dimensionals. So they, they send you everything that you need. I had some that I didn't use all of them, so we're going to use them today. So when you get these from Paper Pumpkin, they come with these little pieces of paper over the glue dot because obviously they would be stuck to everything else. So I'm going to take my pokey tool, and I'm sure that's called something official, but it escapes my mind right now. And then we're going to use some of the Peaceful Poppy sequins. And my little gripper tool here. And let me get one see. Look at how many there are in this. Um, and then I'm just going to plop it down on a blue dot. Now I want to use black and gold, I think, on my on my card today. So let me get a gold one. A couple of gold ones. And a black one. Okay. So then when I want to add them to my card, let me put some of this up because my workspace isn't that big. Then I just take and slide my pokey tool right under the glue dot, lift it right off, and then poke it right off. Now, how much easier can that be? To me, it's much easier than using a dot of glue. Now, if you have if you don't have 
you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber and you don't have these little bitty teeny tiny glue dots, um, a little dot of glue works just perfect. So I'm not going to give it a whole lot. This is what our finished card looks like. I did a birthday card of, um, for the finished card, but I'm going to finish that thank you card and send it to my friend. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, comment below and I will try to answer them. And you guys all have a good week. Thank you.